Gabby Show. Shout out to Upper West Side. Shout out to my mom's town, Haiti, PT Guab, all my friends and family, my crew, Haitian Pat, KK the Cameraman, motherfucker Ronito, motherfucker Frankito, Brickstar, Rami C here, old school legend, Pioneer, put us on to a lot of old school guys. Now, who's the black sheep? We the black sheep. Engine, engine, number nine. Say. On the New York Transit Line. We said, uh, now, we the most unfiltered hip hop show. All I need. It's four walls, my brown couch, and a legend like dreads, black sheep. What's up, y'all? Everything is good, good, right? Yeah. I'm so happy you're here. Oh, man. Thanks for coming here. Jesus loves you. Oh, and um, shout out to Tito. I'm looking for sponsorship. I was hiding before, but I'm not hiding no more. All right. Tito's, Tito's, Tito's. We need y'all. Come on. Let's get it. All right. Now, I already know you lied, because in this fucking, in my shit, you got a verse from Flavor of the Month. You ain't never caught for no split. You don't call nine times when you've been here. <laughs> so the weed done changed. Yeah, yeah, the weed has changed. <laughs> All right, so I'm over here like this mother coughing like a ball. Ronito, that means you ain't fucking around. Ain't you don't call nine times when you've been here. I probably caught when I was writing that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but at the end of the day, I took a little MC Liberty. Now we go. Yeah. So, I don't care. who produced that record of Flavor of the Month? Uh, who produced our own first album? Oh, shit. All the others in that hand. Um, me and Law, me and Mr. Law. Oh, really? Yeah. He produced the whole shit. And he did probably about 85% of it. Okay. See, I really is. He not that old school. I did everything. Gave us props right away. Yeah, no, no, without question. He's great. So, choice is yours. You all did that. So, another, y'all did the same. Every, you and him. Me and him. Okay, great, great, great. Yeah. Now, the biggest thing that Ron's cool me about, and I didn't realize it until, you know, sometimes it goes over your head, you're thinking so much. The Kia commercial. Big. Big. Super big. How did you pull that off, man? Yo, it's crazy. Like, the record, the choice is yours. Like, every, I would say, three to five years, it gets re a rebirth in something major. And, like, right now, it's the big shout to 50 that, um, you know what I'm saying, it's, 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 the, it's, the, it's the music that he's using for, uh, for his new power series, you know what I'm saying, the Raising the Canaan. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's playing every day, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, so my yeah, question, do, do you license that out, or do you, do you own the track? Is it originally, or is a sample in there? Do you own it, or you just do what you want to get paid for? Do you have to pay how much to other people like with that? It, it's been a journey. The publishing on that has been a journey. When we did the deal, we did a 50% publishing deal. So, off rip, Universal has 50% of that record. To this day. To this day. Okay. Right? Now, now, but people, you know, it, 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 it's, it's, it's a blessing and a curse. When, when we did it, the number we did it for, I, I would have never done that deal. Not, like, not in a million years. Now that you know, now that you know. So, but, but, but people, but people, full circle, I'm about to touch, put on you. That, I'm, and I'm telling you, like, once I realized that they got paid, what they gave me, they got paid back the first year. Wow. The very first year they recouped. You know what I'm saying? So from that point forward, it's all props for them. You know what I'm saying? Now, people, I, when I was young, I used to be like, damn, I wish I had that other half. Which had the other half because the money, you know, it's always been, it's always been there. You know what I'm saying? But just to say that I was always like, damn, but then I started peeping the game that when you license something, you know what I'm saying, there's like tears that 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 that, that it can be received for. If, some, if a big company wants to get it, a company's gonna say, well, it's at this top tier, you gotta pay this amount. If a, if if an independent company wants to get it, they might not be able to afford that top tier. You know what I'm saying? So that cuts out a lot of cats that can't mess with it, but there's a there's a, a contingency of companies that can. So whenever anybody messes with it, it's it's going to be something that's real because it's a top tier joint. You know what I'm saying? So whoever's paying money to use it, they, they're paying they're paying real money. So my now, question is, so I'm sorry, that keep on. Universal put me in that. That's nothing that a brother from Story Project is going to put himself in per se. You from Story Project? I yeah, that's why I'm from. That's why I was born. Cool. They, they brought me home from the hospital to a story project. Wow. Okay, that's, that's crazy. crazy. My man, my story merchandiser, Frank Ito. Uh, Frank Ito. One hundred and five. Right there by the water. But just say, um, yo, yo, <clears throat> that. So, so I'm now in this. I got this record that's a top tier record. Anytime anybody's using it, I'm getting half of whatever they pay. You know what I'm saying? And I've come to realize that I'd rather have that half. I'm, I'm almost grateful to be in this deal because. If, any, if I hear a record anywhere in the street, I got a building full of lawyers that, yo, that's our paper over there. 
You know what I'm saying? Going after. Yeah, it could be in, in Taiwan. Whoa. We're gonna get that paper. You know what I'm uh, saying? Don't matter. I got a building full of lawyers at University. Yo, anything that's related to that record, I'm sicking them right on you immediately. So, yeah, so, immediately. so basically, you don't own Universal owns it for life, but at the same time, nah, whenever nah, it's used, not for life. Not for life, but it's the time limit. It's real. That, that's <laughs> that's fuckery. You, you back then you had to do shit for like 20 years. Right, 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 so right. after that's over, it's all yours. Right. And, you, and that's when you're gonna kill these motherfuckers. But but keep game. Yeah. And we were talking about it a little earlier to say that one of the things that winds up happening is uh my black rag that yeah. um if you're smart and you get a record, if you get a record that that's that's doing something, you, one of the things I did was I got up with Prince, the, God bless, Prince's um music director, sister by the name of Cassandra O'Neill. And um she got a new power generation and Excuse me, Pat, I got it, Pat, my fault, Pat. We in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's all good. And I wind up uh me and her chopped it up. I told her I was trying to recreate the choice is yours. But I didn't want it to be played live where a, a band is playing it. I wanted it to be played where I get a musician to recreate each sample. Mm -hmm. So she pulled from her pool of musicians. I booked a studio session and we had each one I paid, each one I'm gonna come in to recreate every sample and we looped and we make and looped it as opposed to having them play it. Because when you play something, it's going to sound And that's what you should, and I wish I knew you then, because you know, after, when I ain't on rock, I learned that. You still have to pay when you replay it, but it's way cheaper. Right. You still have to pay, wrong, but it's way cheaper. Right. You, you should have got that play when you started. Oh, please. You probably had six houses by now. <laughs> Am I lying, though? No, no, without question. But you know what, though? But, yeah. but it's a different feel. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 that's one of the things from our era that's kind of messed up that we, we can't really make those kind of records because of sampling. And the issues were simple, but there was a warm feel to those records, the tribe records, and yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yo, it's a really warm feel to it. But just say, um, but you're right though, still, even though it been a little crisper, we you know, like as 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 the game went forward, we learned more. But just to say, so I recreated the choice is yours bar by bar with the loops, you know, me and Cassandra O'Neill. Okay. Big shout out to her, um, you know what I'm saying? And I recreated it, and so now that's my master. So the ones you recreated, right, 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 right. That's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna split the vocals again, just any other. So not so keep game. I told you about that top tier that exists. That you know you gotta be a, 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 a prominent company to be able to really afford that. All of that exists under there. That's now available via me. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So mm. if you heard it on ESPN when it was doing the um the the final four all, all last year, that was my version. Write that check. Exactly. That exactly. You can't even tell the difference. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, 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 I love that. So, so um, moving forward, so my point I'm trying to make is like that Kia commercial, I'm telling people, because me and Ron argue about stuff, you know, my partner is stubborn as hell, but I've been telling them about <laughs> shit. He drives me crazy about producers who this and that. So what, I, what I'm explaining, I said it wrong, Ron, listen to me now. He said it. When you play it over, you're gonna pay still because it's that melody, but it's way cheaper, Ron, just taking a straight sample. Wow. That's the difference. The way cheaper. Yeah, yeah. We're way, remember, we was battling over. So now. My son knows the song. So, so, no, that's a great commercial, bro. As, as. I love that commercial. The hamster song. He's, <laughs> yo, he's a love it. Some people, know, song some people know it from, from, from a video game. Yeah, I love that. Some people know, you know, so it's my word. It's not gotten to the point that, you know, like it's, it's a generational record. You know what I'm saying? No, that record's great. That record's great. Yeah. So now, yeah. not being disrespectful, I know the answer. I want to hear it. Anybody write your lyrics for you? No. I knew that. Old school. Love that shit. Uh, yeah, I love that. I hate motherfuckers with featured out. Yo, <laughs> so I mean, nah, you know, like, you're back and forth with each other, but I know, but bottom line is you you, you got that pen. You work. Yeah. yeah, I'm used to that word. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you said you got a new album coming out. Scoop, say his name. The produced through all his music. The, J, J. Dilla. J. Dilla. Now, is that coming out through Pool of Genius label? Um, it's going to be in conjunction with it. Now, Pete, this is an amazing story. Like, um, and fuck you, Ron. I ain't know, so that's why I asked. Kiss my ass. Kiss my ass. Kiss my ass. Yo, you always want to be a slick ass smart. Like, you can't get your ass. Fuck you. Yeah. No, but know what, though? But this is cool because because you go, you know, but you, you just don't realize how much you know. Okay. Dilla is one of the cats that's made some of the dopest shit in hip hop. Period. Name some records. Stakes is hot. You lying. That's nothing. He's done it for everybody you fuck with. You know what I'm saying? This is this is this is Jake Dilla. Like he's he's that dude. You know what I'm saying? And Absolutely. and unfortunately he passed early at, he had a, had a blood disorder and um, you know, shit happens, God, you know, moves how he moves. Mm -hmm. 
Um, long story short, I wound up meeting his, his, his mom and her husband at a show in Chicago, and I met him like backstage, just on the strip club. It was a, you know, like all of my dudes fuck with Dilla like he was a friend of this. Mm-hmm. I'm probably the one native tongue cat that didn't have a relationship with him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so I meet his moms and her husband. We hit it off, we sat together backstage. The next month, I'm in Puerto Rico doing a charity event, and Who's there in the front? Jay Dilla's mom and her husband. I'm like, oh shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So after the show, I go kick it with him immediately. Like, you just chop it up on She got a house out there. They invite me back after the show to come. You know, they, they're like, yo, we're gonna have a night barbecue. DJs are coming through. Man, I'm right there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm there, damn near all night. We chopping it up. And um, at the end of the night, they're like, you know, like, we just got the back a lot of the rights of the music under the estate umbrella. We like know you'd be interested in doing a project from Dilla's personal files. Wow. Damn. Oh my God, it's that's all crazy. Oh, that's crazy. crazy. That, that fell right in your hand. Crazy. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Everything was coming. It's Yo, yeah, hand. exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And I'm so I, I'm almost finished the project as far as the recording of the music. But one of the things I'm doing is I'm creating a, a documentary in conjunction with it. It's turning into a Dilla documentary and kind of mine as well. But more than anything, it's about the making of this album and the journey that I kind of wind up going on to do this album. And, and, and but I'm making it a little bit bigger that I'm reaching out to a lot of the cats that he has a relationship with from his childhood all the way up to the cats like, you know, a, a bust or a tip or whoever, you know, what I'm saying that he didn't work with. Like, he, you know, like he's he's OK. Really? So that's, so that's what you're doing. Right, right, right. So um, hopefully I'll have everything situated to drop the project at the top of the year. But I'm going to drop a single before the end of the year. Okay, and then you're going to put, you could come in and promo that single on my show. Yo, it's still You're invited That's all day long. So now, um, of course, you know you're a member of the Native Tongues. Okay. Oh, so, of course, Jungle Brothers, Dela Soul, Tripo Quest, Moni Love, Queen Lativa, and Chi Ali. Right. Now, it's funny because I know that you used to DJ, no, but, you, but you didn't go all the way with it as of now. But right. I'm a Tripo Quest fan. As you know, I know Q-Tip is one of the biggest J- DJs out in the world right now. Yeah. Did you see that coming or shocked you? Um, it, it can really kind of shock me as far as everybody that wound up having the DJ life that that that's now afforded to. Like 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 DJs, and it's dope. I think it's dope because DJs have always been really important, but really subliminalized in hip hop. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know, like the DJ is like they ain't no show without the DJ. It's, it started off as I think as a DJ show, you know what I'm saying, as far as just in the park. But then, you know, like once really hip hop got the mic, you know what I'm saying, like DJs kind of started really fading. But this is an opportunity, I think, for cats with an ability to DJ. And it's kind of bugged in this space because they make Paris Hilton a DJ. So, it's, you know, I, I say that word loosely. But, but to the degree of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But to the degree of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, at the end of the day, like there's real cats right now with D Nice that you know is killing it, and yeah. we don't know D D Nice from being a DJ per se. No, from you know, they call me D Nice. You know what I'm saying? I know. But you know, but at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, the reality is he was you know a DJ. He was in you know future so always DJ, or he just fell into it and just got real good at it. Nah, he always he always because I know you be who he is, is right? Be who he is, he always DJ. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. It's always been, you know what I'm saying? But, but that's what we, this we, but we know for this. He's ill though. He's ill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's but, super ill. But you know, but it, it would be like Mr. Long, you know, the cat that I worked with. You know, what I'm saying that my partner that did most of the production. Uh-huh. I think, I think sometimes a, a cat you could tell how dope a DJ they are by their production. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, like, like Long's a. Oh, Ridiculously dope DJ. You know what I'm saying? Tip is a ridiculous, but D Nice as well. Like D Nice produced, you know, um, shit, shit, I'm still number one, you know, mm-hmm. whatever, you know, for, um, what, what's the joint they play? And I'm gonna get you sucker. You know? yeah, yeah, I'm I don't know if it's a long record. You want to just say, you know, but 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 D Nice been dope from from then. Yeah, he's super nice. Right, 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 right. He's supposed to I be. I need you on my show too, D Nice. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. Official. So, you don't know how to you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, like. So, so, now, Pete, hold up. If you do something, if you study karate for 20 years, what are you? A motherfucker, a black belt. But a, but a master, master, right? A master, right? A master. You, you, you cook for 20 years, what are you? You become a master chef. You're a master chef. Yeah. You're a mechanic for 20 years, what are you? 
I'm asking I'm not the kid. Right. I'm asking the kid. Don't worry about that. You DJ and rhyme for, for 20 years. What are you? A master MC. Dead nice. Right. 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 Styles P, Styles P right. calls it. Chill on the night. All right. Styles P said. He's a yeah, sniper. Nice. He's like a sniper now, Jay. That's yeah, what I love him. The great yeah, guy. Yeah, Shout out to Styles P. Thank you, man. Yeah, no doubt. Dead nice. Dead nice. Word. So, um, I, 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 were you, did you have a relationship with Jerobi? Yeah. Me and Jerobi did, yeah. did, did a project together. We did an album. I'm a, I'm, our album probably was catapulted him into how much he rhymed on the last Tribe album, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like we did this album yeah. together that, that really highlighted, you know, like Jerobi's nice as well. You know what I'm saying? And then I know his new career, now he's a chef. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jerobi's he's killing that shit. Yeah, he's been a chef. Jerobi's dope, man. Like, yo, I've been in a restaurant where, where he cooked. Where he cooked the whole, you know, like for the, for the whole restaurant. Really? And ordered my meal, like, you know, Jerobi knew it was me. That's so honest. Imagine getting cooked for a bunch of Oh, yo. Wow. Jerobi's dope. Wow, yeah. He's super dope. Big shout out to Jerobi. Big yeah, yeah. shout out to Jerobi. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. But, but yo, we did an album. Um, we, we formed a group, a duo, under, by the name of Evertan. Evertan is native, spelled backwards. Oh. And um, if you go online, there's probably about five or six videos of Evertan with this album. Brought it out on my own label, Pool of Genius, you know what I'm saying? And um, like the album's like, one, it's an amazing album. It, it, it's still asleep, but to this day, that cat's kind of want to bump it into it. But um, it's an amazing hip hop album with, with a ton of dope features and um and, and a bunch of videos on YouTube. And you know, you cop that anywhere on, online. Okay. Right? Well, you know what? Maybe you should redo it, remaster it. I've been thinking about that. Honestly, I've been, me and Bro, we both kind of a little bit busy, but it's time for us to do another album, I think. You know what I'm saying? And again, I'm pulling my bit out again. Bring it out on the big. You deal with now who your friends, who you talk. You talk to Mooney Love. Who yeah. You for yeah. Well, I, I ain't supposed to lie in a minute, but you know, online with was, was, was Jungle Brothers. Salute. Um, Mike G. Yes, definitely. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't talked to Africa in a little bit. I think he's overseas. But like Dayla, all of them, like them, you know, definitely every other day. If you Dayla, them, but it's still Long Island. Mm-mm. Wow. Wow. They all got cribs, families, all around, living their lives. Right, 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 and and living well. So no. the Roosevelt Union. Well, I'm, I'm I'm throwing it out there. I, 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 if it's on the if it's on the Big Face Garage Show budget, Dell out. You need to come to my show. Yo, just show up. We take care of the rest. <laughs> <laughs> we take care of the rest, man. Yo, this is my word, man. Yo, those those are my don't hearts. do something. Don't do something official. Hearts, don't do something official. Yeah, yo, and this is my word. They bring me on the road with them a lot. I think really? Like, yeah. Yeah, to this day, like I'll be all over the, all over the world with them. I'm a major to lot so far. What's that single run, Dad? Which one? Um, <laughs> back, back on my foot, bro. You know, on my lawn. Come on, get my holes. My holes. My holes. Come on. I remember the box beat. Yo, this is my word. I specifically remember Prince and Roosevelt flushing bla- uh, bland projects. The box on the corner. We all hustling weed at that moment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We running up on dogs with Knicks. You know what I'm saying? If I hold on my lawn, yeah. it's, cut, it's coming off the fucking box. Off the nah, box. That, that's my, that's and, my thing. And I didn't even know them yet. Like, it was like I would, I was about to, you know, like, right. man, there's so much going you on. You know why I dress? I love y'all. I don't mean to call you a backpacker. That's what I was educated back then. <laughs> y'all didn't have to rap about shooting people and this and that. And y'all was still And y'all was killing that shit. What? Y'all was killing that all fly shit, yo. But you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like the, I, you, if 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 you got a chance to kind of just be yourself, and they threw you in that back that shit, just be yourself. And, and y'all said y'all did. Y'all were yeah, amazing at that shit. And, and, and they like shit. They wanted them, all of them really though. Like, they like real catalysts to me because because I, I feel you when you say that. Like like you know I I'm from you know like I know a lot of cats that you know what I'm saying that if anything I I, I could have easily you know what I'm saying. Walk a different route with musically, but just to say at the end of the day, like to be yourself is the most gangster shit in the world. Oh, man, yo, you know what I'm saying? So, me and Ron talk about that right now. Like the Big Face Gary show, I got a crew. Yo, I got Pat, I got Frank. We all got our personality. Like, I bump heads right sometimes. <laughs> we had a nasty argument this morning. I don't know what we said. I'm gonna play argument today, yo. I said, fuck you. And we gotta be. And I, 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 I don't fuck you. I see you later. I see you later. He gets, he gets on my nerves a lot. But he's, but he's, but he's highly skilled at what he does. Right, right, he right, just man, gets man, on my nerves. But we battle. But he did tell me, Nori has a guy named Lee. Uh, Everybody curses him out. He's a monster. Uh, right? Nori has a child to leave. Mr. Lee, Ron Nelson, that's my Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee, be telling me to shut the fuck up on the set. How about everybody gets mad at him? But he's getting the job done. 
Facts. So Ron just aggregate getting get a job done. So that's, that's his stuff. shit. That's I'm just stuff. saying that now. Now I'm begging for this guy on my show. Tell me what you were fooling the kids. Oh, Chuck. Oh, you got to find out for me. Oh, you got to find out for me. Where they from? We was trying to think about that. Where they from? Chip's from Brooklyn, I believe so. They still, they still rocking and roll? Um, I, I know Chip is. I don't, I don't own, I'm not sure the other couple, I don't really know them like that, but, but you know Chip is my, You have a relationship with him? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's still, he's doing his thing. Ron put up the thing, he was rapping real, what did he say? Before Chip, Twister, he was talking that shit. Chip is a beast, man. To this, to this moment, Chip is a beast. Okay, good. Right up. Now, this is one of my favorite rappers, and I have relations with him because- Chris said he from Flatbush. Flatbush, bro? Right. From, from, from Brooklyn Street. Oh, they from Brooklyn. 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 Brooklyn.
what I remember so well is that I thought it was dope of him to say it. And I was with my, my homegirl, Aria. Mm-hmm. Aria was doing a, a, a lot of uh, work with Martel at the time, the, the, the liquor. Okay. And um, so she had like a, a she was having a, a, a couple of boxes that were brought into the, to the club to put at the bar. So I said, like, yo, let me get a bottle. I, I, I like what Kanye said to me. I said, yo, let me get a bottle already. She said, cool. I said, yo, I'm going to get on the, the show over here. I get the bottle. I take it to Kanye. I'm like, yo, I appreciate what you said, man. I have a good night giving the bottle. He's like, yo, good looking, uh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I thought it was just a dope statement, just a center. Okay. I ain't, you know, <clears throat> I ain't know that he was about to do his, his, you know, his thing to the degree he is. So when he starts popping off, like we had each other number, this and the other, he hit me to come hang out with him before his shit pops off. But when his shit popped off, mm. I ain't never hear from him again. I mm. reached out to him one time. And I'm like, yo, what's up, my dog? I'm like, yo, I'm mad happy for you. This and the other, I see, you know, I see, I see it happening. And I'm like, yo, check it. I ain't trying to keep you. I said, I just need a, either a beat or or you on a hook. I said, you know what I'm saying? Like, like either or, you know what I'm saying? And you know, like it didn't happen. that that'll work. He was like, yo, I got friends. I got 20 checks for 20 different things I ain't done yet. Mm, this is all. I get, you know, I get back at you. Never happened. Nah. Next time I seen this nigga, peep, peep this. Alicia Keys has has been come out uh, summer stage, or not summer stage, uh, whatever the shit is in the garden, you know, um, in Jersey, the big shit up. Summer Jam. Summer Jam. Right. She hasn't come out with a, you know what I'm saying, so I'm backstage, and I'm walking wow. one way, and I see, you know, at the arena, and I see Kanye coming with, you know, the crew, this one he was with the crew that might be wearing whatever, you know what I'm saying, and um, as they walking by, he's like, yo, Drez, that's who should be dressing me. <laughs> dress. And I just looked at this nigga like, like he didn't even say what's up. Like, you know, like, like, dress, you actually are fresh though. I mean, I, I would do the same shit you have here because I'm a, I'm very special. Like my crew, I would dress them by far. They just, they're, they're, oh, <laughs> so man. then when I pop the shit, it's like that. Yeah. They dress down. <laughs> Except you, KK, you're a young boy. <laughs> KK don't count. He killed me. He's 22. I'm out of this era. But everybody yeah. else gets the story. That just took a hard left. We're going to get right back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right back. <laughs> I like to argue. That's a tag. That's a tag. I'm chatting. Let's break right away. Queen shit. I'm chatting. I'm capping. Whatever. That's it. That guy's like, go. <laughs> Say, so I'm looking at this nigga like, yo, it's my word. I was with uh, my girl at the time. And just said, she, she kind of reading me like, yo, she kind of grabbed my hand because I'm looking at this nigga like, nigga, I should be dressing you. Like, this nigga didn't even speak to me after he said she was dressing him. Like, he kind of just kept moving with his entourage. Oh, bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, you know, like, yeah. Let's That's just industry sometimes. Bullshit. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I didn't even say it was like, it's just been a little bit of You don't know where you stand with him, but it didn't end the way you thought it would end. What I would say is on, online, Kanye, you know you my man. The last time I spoke to you, you was telling me, gee, why they don't believe I'm a rapper? I said, I believe you're a rapper. We was in LA in the W drinking nips all night talking shit about you gonna blow. Right. And then you blew the fuck up. So you see this? Yo, let's come for the crew, man. I, we don't want no money. We don't want nothing. What you could do, That's right. let's give us a sponsorship for Yeezys. Something good. And we'll just go to war with that. Because you know I was there. Again, they don't like lies. Kanye West could never tell nobody he don't fuck with me. Because I was in the room with the W said, you're going to blow. You're going to blow. It's coming. Because I believed it. Remember, Jesus walked through your knees. You was you couldn't believe. Jay said, get up. I said, don't worry. It's going to come, brother. So shout out to Kanye West. You know what? Move. Okay, I'm sorry. I, no, no, no. Shit. I'm going to piggyback on that shit. Go ahead. Go to work. Put me on a verse on anything in the world, and we good. Yeah. See, that's all he wants. Mm-hmm. And Kanye, you rap. You 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 make rap. See, with me, you didn't fall off. You just comfortable. When you come to the dungeon with the and brown couch all right, yeah. after 30 minutes with Big Figgity, right. you're going to spit that Jesus walk shit. I ain't going to let you leave till you spit that Jesus walk shit. Jesus Ooh. walk shit. I, I'll go, I know you, Wes, so you know Ken knows it. Again, as one of the most realest show in the world, I know Kanye. I don't know you after you're a billionaire and shout out to you being a billionaire. I respect the shit out of that, bro. Like but that. I know you when you was you had that G-Wagon and you thought it was a Bentley you loved that car so much. His first big check of rock, he went when he got his deal, he bought a steak wine. I said, What's the car called? The G5? The G, G- no, was it the ice truck? The one I like, Ron. The yeah. G wagon, great one. Was I dead? Wesley, you know I'm telling you. You was in love. Now you can do anything you want. So again, Dress requested the verse, which ain't nothing to you. Like and, and I just need you sponsorship and me, you talk crazy on camera. I'm gonna find you, Wes. It's gonna pop up. It's just gonna happen. 
organically. Love you, brother. Right. Moving forward. Right. Now, back people think backpackers are soft. They think because y'all proud of backpacks. Know. They think y'all this, y'all that. Who you seen they talk crazy to in karma and got their whole shit split for thinking a backpacker was soft or got a dress? <laughs> just, say, just say that. I mean, honestly, like, Plenty of motherfuckers. <laughs> Anybody that tried to fuck with me, for one. Well, I don't know. You're going to talk to me crazy. You're going to talk to me crazy. I'm like, you're going to talk to me crazy. I love that, man. You know what I'm saying? But just say, like, at the end of the day, like, plenty, though. Like, just say, like, like these is niggas, you know, that's in everybody's family. That's, you know, like, like we grew up amongst, <laughs> like, shit, I used to, I, I hustle and say that cats, cats are no, cats that know, no. You know what I'm saying? But I hustle with, you know, Lord C, Shajane, Shorty Black. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I come from a team that you might not have never heard of, much like being a backpacker, because you wasn't supposed to. That wasn't the name of the game. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The cats you heard of, for the most part, yeah, they did what they did, but you knowing it wasn't part of the game. You know what I'm saying? So to say that, you know, like, walking, if, if wearing a backpack means I get to make a record about anything in the fucking world I want to, mm -hmm. you get that. You know what I'm saying? And that's where I'm pulling out young niggas front. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. That's what it was. You know what I'm saying? Perfect. See, you're doing, you doing, you, did you ever have to crack a motherfucker jaw? Yeah. All right, that's all I need to know. Yeah. Backpackers, 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 backpackers don't, don't, don't feel because they got a backpack on their back. That yeah, they all smack blood out. That's all I'm yeah, trying to ask. Nah, nah, nah. Get it. Like, shit, what, I don't, <laughs> yeah, 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 man. yeah, you know my Don't give me Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Rod, yeah, Rod, right, right, right. right. open it up, Rod. It's open it up, Rod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. big face Gary show. You know, like, not, not to speak ill of anybody, but just to say, like, you know, like a lot of time, a lot of times over time, people's perception of of who somebody is or who somebody was becomes a little distorted. You know what I'm saying? Like to say that, you know, like. Some of the people that people think are, you know, just these monsters, you know, it wasn't it wasn't necessarily the case in in, in real life and in, in, in actual speed. Again, brother, you know how you feel. I'm a I'm a humble giant. Ron said I'm too nice. I don't look for trouble. Stop. Except with me. But I took him to fight Ron. I remember I'm giving a story when I was in high school, Palm Hayes. This kid was with some chicks on Catholic school. You know, Chachi, they were beautiful. Uh, he my man. He kept talking quick. The two train on 149. He kept talking, bro. kept talking. I said, yo, lay low, man. So he kept talking. He kept talking. You have put it. Yo, Jazz, I hit this nigga so hard, right? <laughs> I mean, he had a Caesar. I put out a body. Yo, this is my word. Your hands look like mallets. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure, sure that shit hurt. Your thing had a Caesar. He, he shook out of it. I was going to body. Because people think, because you nice, you're right. sweet. Right, right, right. So I know what you're saying, man. People, and, and, it's, and it's so, it, it tells you a lot about who's in front of you. If someone mistakes kindness for weakness, yeah, yeah. then you gotta then, No, you ain't got to. But when you wind up doing it, you're gonna pay the piper. Now I'm the bad guy. Don't be mad. You know, you know, like, like, like you, it, it gets to a point where, where their opinion don't even matter. You just wanna do it in a space that nobody else has to have an opinion. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or even, or even that, you know, that is obvious you were defending yourself. And dress, <laughs> I'm about to say that. If I put my hands on you, you deserve it. Because I don't right. Right, 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 right. So I'm going back. I usually don't do this on my show, but I go backwards. I, I didn't ask this question the right way. You explain the universe was 50% of the um the choice is yours, am I correct? Right. So you don't fully own the song, but whenever it comes out, you get paid from it. Right. Bottom line, whichever way, we'll just your deal. All, I don't even know. All my people, yeah, yeah. Nah, of course, you own the vocals. I know that. Right, right. That's very simple. Let's say, like, on the publishing side, and, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So now that you're older, back then the deals were fuckery. I told Ron. Right. That's why a lot of guys, old school rappers, like Ronnie C, wanted to punch somebody in their face because they the stepping stone to this shit. Mm. And these guys are getting paid big money. Yeah, man. So my question is, you know what? I'm gonna do what they do on TV. My producer said, move on. You answer the question. I'm gonna go forward. All right. He about to beat me up. <laughs> um, has Key ever called you to do something else? Nah, like he hasn't hit me. But the crazy shit though, and, and this is something that you want to find out, especially the technology available today, they had a, like a 24% increase in the sales of Kia during the duration yeah. of that particular commercial. Wow. All right. All right. All right. You know, yeah. But that, that just goes to show, show the yeah. power of hip hop. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, wow. shit is real. So residual, you still get paid, of course, the residuals. Well, I mean, 
like I wish I got paid residual off the sales of kids, but now I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just to say, you know, but that's dope. It, it, it's dope that you know, like that much more people, you know, even from youngsters are now right. playing the choice is yours, having learned that it existed via a kid commercial. Yeah, you know, and it's a small pocket of people, but it adds to a great. You know what I'm saying? And it just gets bigger and bigger with each introduction. When did you know that Kia wanted to use that song? Um, shoot. It was close to right around the time it was about to happen. I actually had a, a homeboy out in LA um, that worked on the animation part. The, um, you know, the, the, the bears, the, the yeah, fly. Yeah, like, 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 like he, he, he worked on the commercial and he, he actually hit me up and, and put me on that the deal was already done. So I knew it was coming, but from there, like, and this is this is another thing too. Like, I don't own my masters. So when you don't own your masters, the company sometimes they give you the a, a courtesy and let you know what's going on, the deals that they're structuring. But sometimes they don't. In the case of the Kid Commercial, I wasn't notified of this any other. Not that I could have denied it anyway. Would would enough? I, I, you know, I would let it run. But just say, um, at the end of the day, they, the deal was already done. You know what I'm saying? And I just happened to have a homeboy that was working on it. You know what I'm saying? So I could, it could have came out and I was seeing it for the first time like anybody. But I knew it was coming. I knew it was in the pipeline of sending it up. And I reached out to find out just the parameters of the deal. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, find, find it out. But it wasn't anything that I could do about it. It was a, de- a done deal. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, but <clears throat> it was a fair deal. You know what I'm saying? The other wasn't. Was it? Be. Right. Yes, right. Right. Like, and like I say, I'm, I'm in, I'm in a, a, a fortunate position where I got a record that's in bed with a big company. Big, super big. Right. You know people, what I'm saying? People don't want to say they have a Kia because the word don't sound great. Kia has cars, mom and I know, that cost almost 100 grand. Oh, yeah. yeah they yeah. got their big four sedans that cost almost 100 grand. So Kia don't fuck around me. Yeah. So, okay. Now, this is respectfully speaking, as my producer says, because you know I'm very disrespectful sometimes. <laughs> um, you know the Mali Zulu African Mabada has allegations of being a pedophile. What do you have to say about that? Oh man, I'm, I'm it's a tough question, but I have to be real. Yeah, no, 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 it's so good. Like I, I really don't have anything to say per se that I don't know anything personally as far as other than maybe um, what's the cat's name? Hassan. That, that that's online. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Hassan Cam. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he's probably the only person that I know that per se can attest to personally that 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 situation. I think he even the most um, if you think because native tongues has such a close tie to the local nation, if you think that the allegations have affected uh, the Mike Zulu nation in any way, like negatively. I mean, you know, like. To a degree, it, you know, it, it wasn't anything that was positive that was wrong with that shit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like, I, I, I definitely condemn any pe- pedophilia type shit, period. Like, you know, like that shit. That's, that's just ridiculous. That's, that's insane. That. insane. It's just insane. Right, right, right. That's just, I'm that's not saying who is it. Children. It's just insane. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And, 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 and then, you know, and then, you know, that, that's ridiculous. But just to say, like, yeah, there's nothing positive that's brought to it unless... Zulu steps out, I think, in front of it and maybe, you know what I'm saying, maybe starts bringing some kind of social awareness to the situation, maybe start doing some things in for, for people that are in that particular fucked up situation, reality. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like, other than that, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, you know, and definitely, you know, like, I, you know, like, everybody definitely, if, if that's the case, then, you know, like, like I'm... Bring me one, two, Ronnie. Yeah. See, I want to ask you a question, Ronnie. I need you back here for a second. I can't even speak to, you know, how the streets should move or how or how the courts should move, but it, it definitely is to be addressed if that's the reality of the situation. So, Ron, I'm asking you a question, Ron. For what you know, I'm sorry. I'm, I know. I'm again. You're the guest, and I love you. You're just laying low. What do you think about that situation with Hassan claiming the African Mabada? Was a pedophile. Do you know anything about that, or you just it's just words from people talking about it? What do you think about that? I don't know who Hassan is. See how this is real. Ron, well, said, Ron, tell me, explain yeah. who Hassan is. Hassan Cam was a young man that used to be with Africa Bambada back in the days, and he alleged that Africa Bambada molested him with the show. Yeah, he was brave enough to come out and say it if it was true. 
because that's got to be a tough thing to go through. Go. You know what I mean? It's and um, so I just I just wonder if you think it affected the Zoom. But you think what you said was great. You had a a, a, a positive input on to, to to maybe do some things in the community with people who've been affected. You know what I'm saying? Because that. ultimately, like you know, that's a fucked up stain to have. You know, bad stain. Right. Bad. Right. Right. But 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 it doesn't. I don't think that it should. It should. Like we coming, we in some cancel culture type shit right now, and I, that shit ain't healthy to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, like one of the blessings of life is life, and in life is the opportunity. Tomorrow is the opportunity to do better. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like we we gotta s- s- continue or start more so continuing to give each other the opportunity to do better. Like when we cancel a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like we cut all of that shit off and. <clears throat> For the grace of God, all of us fall short. So in essence, we all just waiting on our day to be canceled. Cause ain't a motherfucker out here that's no better. Well, you know, there's certain shit, pedophilia, of course. But just to say, but ultimately, you know what I'm saying? Perfect. Right, right. And, and, and at some point, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna step on a white woman's shoes wrong or whatever the fuck that's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? And and niggas is gonna be looking at you like, you know, like you you like you on some pedophilia shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's not right to say that, you know, for Zulu Nation, is what I'm trying to say. It's very big. Right, 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 right. And, yeah. and, and, say, and say that motherfuckers shouldn't have anything to do with it because of a pedophiliac in this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Zulu hasn't taken it upon itself <coughs> to, you know, to put another head on this shit and, yeah. and step in front of this shit. And I've seen nobody say anything, so you're right. So, <coughs> moving forward, um, Ronnie Siegel's here, Pioneer, he's my man, I met him. To do a show, he's a real nice guy. He's OG, that's a pioneer. That's my dude. He did the, he's, um, he's one of the first who was on Saturday Night Live. But you're one of the first groups who was on the Jay Leno show. How was the experience doing that? And who was also on the show with you that day that you did? All right, um, the shit was dope. Um, you know, like, you know, we had, we was at a point where we had done a few shows prior, like uh, Arsenio, maybe once or twice in a uh, little color. You know what I'm saying? So loud performances, like it, it's a spe- they, they kind of they kind of dope within themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, it's a small pocket of, of time. You know what I'm wow. saying? Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, and you step into it, and it's like one you got you try to bring you trying to bring the 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 highlight of the night into two and a half minutes that you got. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so it's kind of dope. There's a dope energy to them, you know what I'm saying? And, um, so, like, you know, in the green room, um, I remember Cheryl Ralph was one of the guests um, on uh, the night that I was on it. And, um, and, and, and the director was the cat that did, I think, it, it was Scissorhands, what's his name? Tim Burton, something like that. He was on it as well. And um, just to say, I remember Cheryl Lee Ralph, because she always was just mad fine to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, like she, and so, you know what I'm saying? So her green room, that is, of course, you know, like, she's probably like, you know, the reality of it was like more of a, of a, of a, of a aunt, you know, <laughs> she you know what I'm saying? Like, right, right, she's so so far as they were, but she was one of, you know, but she, but she still was bad to the degree that, like, you know, like, uh, yo, you know, like, Foxy. yeah, 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 right, right, right. Like, it could happen. Right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, no doubt. Right? That's right. 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 So how many minutes, yeah. you only got like five minutes a day on the show? I remember, I mean, uh, um, well, we got to rock, and then we got to sit down and, and talk, you know, and, okay. and, and kick it with him. You know, big shout out to Jay Leno, you know what I'm saying, for real, for real. And, you know, and that, that was a good look, you know. Like, like those particular looks and those particular times in hip-hop was real important because what they were doing, what, what they were, were the introduction of something dope into Middle America's house. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like this is the shit that they wasn't going to get, really, otherwise. And... It's new music, so there's a lot of cats that they can look at to fill that slot as far as representing new music. And I was mad grateful that that we got that slot to say that I felt like we was a good representation of young hip hop. Mm. So you know what I'm saying? So because it was so big in the state, did you get paid for that or just the promotions? Um, this is my word. All of that shit is real chump change, like 300, 500, Jesus. Right, 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 right. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, all that shit. I got to move forward. That just yeah. aggravated me. Yeah, 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 no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that shit is That shit just pissed me off. <laughs> you know they get shows like that right now, bro? If no. you do that for 20 minutes, 50. Rom gets on me about the new world of hip-hop. People are getting big money. Yeah. For little shit. Thank God. But thank God. Yo, yeah, right, right. Thank God. I can't hate. That is my word. And 
everybody, your, your mom's gonna think that that's what you got for that at that time. You know what I'm saying? Your mom's gonna, but I seen you on TV. Like, that's everybody's thought process. I don't know this one. You know, they're like, yo, I saw you on TV. And it's, and it's my word. Like, I mean, like, yo, mom, I got, I got, I think, I don't even think I cash it. It's like $300 some shit for that, you know, like, this is nothing. Yeah, like, you know, and, 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 and you kept moving. You keep moving. You keep moving. You keep right. moving. Right, right. You keep moving. You know, you try to get the shows booked yeah. behind that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But what have you is like, you know, but but those are necessary blocks to, and steps that, that had to be taken for cats to get the people we talk about now. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and, and that's the thing that's a little bit disappointing sometimes in the cats that today that they don't realize, yo, like, the shit that had to happen for you to get that, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't think you just was born and walked, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, shit, tough. shit is real. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit so, so that'd be the attitude that, that that might go back and forth. And a young cat might not understand that. And an old cat, like, really got to kind of be able to convey it in a way like that it makes sense. And and and, and that they, we, we don't got it to the point where there's so much ageism in hip hop, which is whack. To say that, you know what I'm saying, a young cat is looking at like, I don't mess with them older cats. I don't mess with them older beats. I don't mess with, you know what I'm saying? And, and what, it, what that is, is very divisive within our culture. It's disrespectful to the culture, actually. You know what I'm saying? To say that, ultimately, like, that's how you got to be, young men. But they don't see that, though. But they have to, because the reality is that they're setting the, the, they're setting the tone for the cats under them to not fuck with them. But they don't see it yet. But they're very disrespectful. They don't know that. Right, 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 right. But you know, but you know what you keep. We gonna keep. Life will humble. Life is gonna humble. We gonna keep humble. I've been humble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's been humble. You've been humble. I've been humble. Yes. We all been humble. Life is gonna humble. So, but but at the end of the day, all they gotta do is listen. But it, we both gotta listen. You know what I'm saying? It, it ain't it ain't about one or the other right now. We both just gotta listen. You know what I'm saying? Like yo, and and, and, and just understand like we have to do this together for it to to be effective. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, we can control so much within our shit if we stay together. But but the little shit that they got, the young, the old, all that shit is game. All that shit is game, and everybody that's perpetuating it, it is for a victim. We all together. It's the same as East West. Like that shit is game. Y'all nigga, what? That's a crazy. You know shit. what I'm saying? Like, yo, what the fuck are y'all doing? Like everybody ain't look at the shit the same. You know what I'm saying? This is my word. And there's niggas that was that looked at them niggas like little niggas. You right. For real. You know what I'm saying? There was niggas that looked at them niggas like little niggas. And, and that's just what it was. Like, that shit just didn't make sense, man. And, so, and, and, and that's not who we are. We're together. And, and together, we change a vote. But, but fuck change a vote. We can change everything. Yeah, but people got to learn that. But they don't, you know. Right. Well, we just got to keep being positive and hopefully we'll change it our way. Nah. So, I mean, but, but, but our way is together. I'm telling you, like, it can happen now or it can happen later. That's how it happens. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like that's how it happens. You know what I'm saying? We gotta do this shit together. There's no East West. There ain't no Brooklyn and Queens. They, yo, we together. They gotta see that. Right. Everybody worry about the change the Montreux and Lamborghini they, and they don't see the bigger picture. Right? I, oh, man. I ain't saying the wrong bottom cars. So those, are nice, those are nice cars. Right. Like Ron said, divide and conquer. So now. But, yeah, right, right. Because that differentiates. Yeah. You from you know it's it's all peacock fellas, fellas. And I'm not mad at you loving them cars. I like cars too. Me when I love it, but let's still do the right thing to keep them cars. We keep going. So now moving forward, um, the new era. Who's your top five rappers? Ooh. This era for you, and you can't say J Cole. And I don't want to hear Kendrick Lamar. Yo, this is my word. I don't think I have a J Cole or Kendrick album to be honest with you. And that's okay, that's hard. Oh. Okay, that's hard. I'm not into the big. No, I know they're nice. Respect. I don't have one either. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I, I think that, I think they both nice as well. But it's, it's just an automatic go to sometimes. Right, 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 right. So we try to because we love them too. That's an automatic go to. No. Right, right, right. So you know, right, right, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I, I'll be fronting about it, honestly, but I, I think I'm a cat that's hearing. I'm hearing joints as people are playing them. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm in a spot and somebody's playing it, that's how I heard it. You know what I'm saying? But I haven't gotten to the space yet to where- To get the top five? You can't really name the top five? Um, I mean, I don't know if you would have heard of them. That's the model shit. I'm about the artist now in the world that's killing the game. You're oh, killing the game. Right now. Oh, right, right. now. That you like. You, you know, no, no. Yeah, I got some cats that, that might necessarily know, but but they nice. Yeah, um, you ever heard of Tough Junkie? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, you think you slick. Say, hold on. Yo, it's my bird. <laughs> trash, trash. Well, I'm telling you. You're gonna give me the top five records that you know 
Fire gone, Ronald go, what's his name? Ronald laughing. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> Someone so raw, so white. I like Fabio Farrell. Fabio Farrell, they keep going wrong. Yo, this smells Tory great. Lanes, the kid from LA, Ronald killing the game. I like him a lot, Ron. Like the that. other kid, Ron from LA, got all them big records. Pat, you know the kid, man, he's killing LA right now. He got all the, yo, yo, uh, okay, can help me. The kid who got all the records in LA, he's a LA rapper, he's young. He's, he got all the top. God damn it. Right. Rich. He can't be Roddy Rich. Rich, thank you. Thank you, Rick Star, Roddy Rich. Thank you, Rick. So, like, what's up? Yo, my people's. Is, um, Roddy Rich is a good You know who kind of kind of, kind of making a move with the young the, the producer side? What's his name? Hitmaker? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hitmaker. 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 I don't know Hitmaker. 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 He can go back further than that. I mean, I can't you name it. I'm talking like shit. I'll be a star up. next year, and I'm talking shit. So your top five, like Ron said, name what we want to name. Ron, right? I'm sorry. I, 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 I just thought the new era. Name what we want to name. You're right. Ron is right. Sorry. I'm a little asshole sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. Nah. I mean, it's so, it no, 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 no. Trust me. We all good. For real. So name who you want, whatever you want to name. Whatever you like. That. I'm going to go with that. Now, I, would, I wish, this is my word, I mm-hmm. wish I could do it how you set it up, but I'm going to keep it a buck. Out of everybody we just named, yeah. I don't know one song title for them niggas. Good Jesus. Go Google it. Fred Sanford. I'm going to make great. I'm going to keep it a buck. Now, have I heard? Have I heard their work? Probably. And there's probably some joints that I like more than others. But ain't nobody really inspired me to purchase shit. And, and, and I be looking to. I'm a victim like that, too. You know what I'm saying? I be, I be looking to want to purchase shit. But ain't nobody inspired God, me. God, forgive me, man. I get abused by Ron every day, you old. I don't, look, let me tell you something about me. Ooh. I don't watch my show after this. Uh-huh. I don't look, and I'm not, keep I don't keep up with podcasts. Okay. He picks on me about that. It's not right. I'm going to do better, but I understand. <laughs> I understand. I don't care about nobody, yo, but the big face Gabby show. And I sound crazy because Ron said you behind. We going to argue about it. He pisses me. Mom, you don't know shit. Gonna do. <laughs> I'm going to get better. I promise that today. But I know how you feel, man. Yeah, like, like it, it comes down sometimes to me doing my homework for the terrain. But honestly, like, I, it's like I've been doing this long enough where I've done that at certain, certain time segments in life where checking yeah. up to what's crazy. Yeah, the fuck was crazy. Like, like right now, you know, I, I'm, I look at the world and I, I try to put what's, what should be there. Okay. Period. So I'm a victim of that. You, I'm going to be honest with you. You have to do better. I have to do better. So... It's as far as check, it's, it's it's check on that, you gotta keep up. We, you gotta, you're Let me tell you why. They're born into the 2021. And you I like Benny. I like Benny the Butcher. I like oh, yeah, Special yeah, Day. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, I like, uh, like see? Farm I'm just gonna double I like Conway. Like, yeah, I, I like rappers. Wrong, right. But I gotta do better. So, so you, what about right. your top five right, right, right. all time, like real rap? Like, all time. Yeah. Okay, we do that. Yeah, yeah. All time. Make sure Jay Z's one of them. Make sure Biggie's one of them. Biggest dope as well. Ron's gotta be on there too. Biggest dope as well. That's three, goddamn. <laughs> what is bullying him into that one? I, 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 I can't take it now. Top five, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I wasn't taking none of y'all. What is bullying? What's your top five? What? That's real. I'm disagreeing with you. What's your top five? What's your top five dreams of all time right now? You can put it up right now. Yours. We are gonna start it off with Tito from the Fellas Four. Or you go, oh, you go. look at his face. Hey, you know, oh, you went to that He's a legend. Yo. Bow down. Legend. Not only is he a legend, he's fucking, if you ever listen to, just sit down and listen he just consistently, around. consistently to the Phyllis Four albums, album. Yo, he's ridiculous. He's, you know, he's pun before, you know, like, you like, Tito is dope. You know what I'm saying? As, as, as a lyricist. You know what I'm saying? He oh. stood out amongst the group. You know what I'm okay. saying? Who else? Just Ice. Oh. Just Ice is a beast. Talk that shit. You know what I'm saying? Say it around. He got her butt. Yo. Number three. Um, number three, I'm going to have to go with my man Dave from De La Soul. Wow. Okay, I'm going to keep moving because I'm moving forward. I got I got my friends going to beat me up. Number four. Number four, I'm gonna go with my man Black Thought. 
Mm. Good. Five. Great, great one. Five. Number five. Number five. Mm. Jay Z. Jay Z. Let's move forward. Right. Moving forward. <laughs> now, who brought you into what he's going to go? I'm just trying to do my job now. <laughs> <laughs> gonna, don't stop. Don't stop now. Because I, 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 we'll get that to later. Who brought you into the who brought you to the native tongue? Finally got one on my side, motherfucker. I've been being killed by Biggie Lee. Yeah. God. Yeah. Nah, Jay's, um, Jay's masterful. No, no, no. Biggie's a beast too. I was he's a monster. Ron sent me some music yesterday. Biggie didn't have an opportunity to create the body of work that Jay did. Because he passed. What's that record Ron sent me? I almost cried in my house. Someone sent me a record that said Biggie. Ron said the record it was last day. Was it long kiss? Long live, long we kiss. Of, it was ridiculous. Yo, oh, man. when we were battling, yeah, yo, it was real. It was hard. So, wait, wait, wait. I want to say, yo, we got to big up Nas. Like, yo, we be leaving Nas, 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 Nas out of the man. conversation and bugging. Thank you. I'm I sorry, Pete. I don't know what's wrong with me. No, we be bugging our like, 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 But Nas is almost like, like, he's become Jay and. And uh, big. I mean, big and pop. Big like, 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 like it, it, he's kind of on the like the first draft. Like, he, like he's like he's point guard. You know what I'm saying for the first team. Yeah. So like so that's where that that's all that is. You know what I'm saying? But but like he's he's definitely definitely killing the interview. I'm so I'm getting to the zone right now. <laughs> Moving forward, who brought you in the native tongue? Shout out to Ron too. These are all Ron's questions, man. I he get on my fucking nerve. He's a hell of a producer. All right. That's what's Who up. brought you to the native tongue? Um, really, Mr. Long. You know, what I'm saying like that was my partner. Whereas, it's crazy. I had I had wound up being on Rikers for ten months. I yeah, wound up being a halfway house ten months after. You know, what I'm saying the next year, I'm working a job and in school. And this is before you became a rapper. This before I. Before you were I, just still in the grind. Also, how we all found out. You found you doing your own thing. Yeah, right, right, right. I'm in a position where I got to where I'm literally, you know, probationed out and all of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm literally, you know, like I got I got knocked by TNT, you know, task force in New York, like when crack really I caught a case too. Yeah. Yeah, I caught a K ninety nine. I understand yeah. the pain. Yeah, you gotta but just to say I went through this and the next year I, I passed by my little man from North Carolina, Mr. Long, on the street, Manhattan. Okay. And and the chances of that happening was crazy. I passed we passed by each other. He ain't really have a place to stay. I, mean, I just got an apartment in the Bronx. I'm like, yo, come crash with me. He comes, brings records, and sat me at the turntables. Next thing I know, I'm in the studio meeting Tribe, meeting, you know, wow. and this one, and this, and this one, Tribe working on their first album. Um, you know, they like, you know, Jungle, and that was the introduction, and we just started rapping from there. Oh wow, great story. Now, was there anybody in the tongue was like, he ain't all that. Fuck that nigga until you proved yourself. You had any stress for anybody that who the fuck is him? And then to just click in like he's a monster, we fucking with your ass. Um, I think in hip hop, it's you know, like you you always kinda there's always a friendly competition. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think any, nobody was ever like, you know, I ain't I ain't shit. But I think cats always kinda had their especially at, at, at different points in hip hop, people look at it like if it's not how I view it, then it's not real. But that's a real fucked up way to look at some some shit, especially that might be much realer than what you what you even look at. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like even even your, your your understanding of what real is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know that ain't really why you in it anyway. You know what I'm saying? You in it to kind of, kind of do what you, you know, to make a dope shit, like make dope music. So you just can't really hold your own and it just click automatically, basically. For the most part, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, to be honest with you, like, I, I think I had a little more aggressive undertone than cats realized until they were in my presence. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, 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 and which was cool because at the end of the day, I wasn't really trying to be on the block with it. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't my mentality at all, if anything. I was trying to get this paper and get the fuck out of the building. Yeah, that's how, you know that's how we're going now. Like, I, I evolved a lot. I mean, right, 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 right. You evolved. You know, that's just that's a world that that's just crazy right now. Right. Um, I know there was somebody when you was locked up at Rikers. You met, um, can you give me a story about Stan? <laughs> Man, okay, yeah. Hey, oh, bro. that's my dude, yo. Um, so the one when he was, uh, he was actually, matter of fact, let me run intro that, run. No, no, I, I, I got, I know, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I said, yeah, this is my work. Um, Stan, like, like, me and Stan, like, we get down. I met him 
I knew Stan from North Carolina, you know what I'm saying? My senior year of high school, this is my man. Every day I'm going over his crib, he got turntables, you know what I'm saying? So every day I'm at his crib, we rhyming this, that, and the other, spin shit. And um, this is where we can drink our 40, smoke our weed, his mom was mad cool. And this is where we start making tapes and this, that, and the other. My little man, Shorty Duwop, which is Mr. Long, would come through, you know what I'm saying? And he was Stan's little man, you know what I'm saying? Long story short, Every day for a year, this is what I'm doing. When I finish school, I break out. You know what I'm saying? I'm back in New York. I want to get in trouble with this, that, and the other. When I'm on Rankers, Stan is my dude. Like, like for that year, we ran hard, like dirt, the whole shit. We done did, did everything a nigga can get into in the senior year. So um, I hit him like, yo, you know, I'm, I'm on Rankers. He's like, yo, I'm going to come see you. You know what I'm saying? He's down south. And I'm like, yo, bet. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm waiting for him, you know what I'm saying, to come come see me. He's like, I'll be there tomorrow, you know, just any other. So the next day, I'm waiting for him. I don't get no visit. The day after that. So he's from up Carolina. Right. But, but you're in right. Rikers. Right. But he's supposed to come from up down south to come see you. He's driving up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna drive up to you know, see me the next day. So I'm like, you know, even in my even in my head, I'm like, you know, shit, if he don't make it the next day, you know, I'll probably it'll probably be the day after. I'm like, you know, like shit. He might even be able to make that drive, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and, and, and feel like going through the, the, the bullshit again to, in front of me. Just to say, um, so I wasn't stressed about the next day, but I but I ain't get no visit. The following day, um, it's I'm not sure if it was the next day or the day after, but I believe it was the following day. In the morning, I'm going to get breakfast. And I hear from behind me, yo, dress. I turn around. It's my man Stan <laughs> online. You know what I'm saying? Good job. He's like, yo, I told you I was gonna come see you. <laughs> 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 <That's my word. laughs> Just wait to in your mind. <laughs> anyway, the nigga came up and while parking the car, just coming up, as soon as he got me, he, he's in the city. Okay. Parking the car and get out and ham on his hip. A detective walking by picked the hammer. Immediately tried to, you know, grab him up to say, I need other writers. He's on writers now, but I'll tell you what happened, how he got the writers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he started running. He tried to cut a corner. He throw the piece. Nigga, the shit go off when it hit the ground. Pow! Nigga, um, he winds up getting, you know, duffed up, what, locked up. And he's now on writers online. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn. Like literally. Literally, like literally. He, he, he come to see it, he got caught up. Yeah. The what happened after that? What's going on with him now? Um, well he's on came on like you know, like he's one it's it's crazy, like cause that was kind of the beginning of him doing a series of bits. So he's doing all the shit right now, he just jumped. So he passed. Nah, nah, he good, he good. Like, you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. at one point he uh yeah, you know, yeah. He, so let me ask the question. Any rapper you could think of who got lost in gun violence or you regret that could have been big as a hip hop star that you think about sometime on right. violence? Name one that really, you're like, damn, you could have made it. Me personally, again, I'm just, I can't get rid of Queens. What? Stack bundles. Oh, right. He's from Queens, right? That's yeah. That kid had it, right, Ben? He breaks his. What's your name, He was coming, right? Stack bundles. Yeah, Stack Chinks. Chinks. And Chinks. It was coming. They got killed by gun. That's my opinion. You have anybody else that you? I mean, yeah. definitely like from L. I mean, L. Oh yeah, Big L. Hood. Big um, L. Hood. Big L. You know what I'm saying? Hood. I mean, you know. You know like, the problem with these people? Like this is what I had. I told one. The hood's missing this now, and we'll move forward. Because like when I was growing up, I made one big mistake. I was playing basketball. I was pretty decent. Pat and I grew up in the hood. I told a killer, suck my blind. Mm. He liked me. So he pulled me to the side. And schooled you. For some reason, bro, he could have, right. he'd have be blood on me. Bro. I was a, this guy was a stone cold killer. I ain't gonna name his name. He did about 30 beds. He mm -hmm. liked me. And, and he pinned me for like eight years after this. I'm gonna store from on the snap like this. I'm gonna store, I'm gonna store, I'm gonna store. Some kind of blessing. I was 12. I was, he pinned me, but he was, yo, man. And he told me, but you learned a lot by just being, being, being able you, to be told me, you just tell me that because I use this after that. Right. If you tell somebody suck mine, tell them that that means you want to go with right. it. You want to stand. It's right. automatic. Right. That, right. You right. do right. it right. for right. 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 you do it, or you didn't know no better. But the way you, but the way you was raised, I could tell you didn't know, and I didn't know. So I learned that. So, but I will admit, yo, when I went up top, this kid was bothering me. I couldn't take it no more. I said, suck mine. 
Right. And I ain't bragging, I pulverized him. Right. And he was from Queens. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I ain't bragging. I mean, <laughs> I mean, my fucking You know, I'll be the last You end up touching every barrel when you have to. I'm going to be the last one. But honestly, what I was just saying is that, so sometimes we don't have the OGs to be like, I just stopped him. He's he going to get his gun. So you're going to get your gun because he says something you don't like. You're going to kill him and now you're gone for 30 years. Yeah, that's Are you really thinking? No. This is what I suggest. You don't go get a gun, he don't go get a gun, and you're duffed it out. Remember, I'm talking about the old days. I had a bunch of fights, Brick. Next day, we're drinking 40s. What? Where's that at now, Ron? I don't know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's over, Brick? Been know. over. <laughs> Been over. Been <laughs> over. You got to beat Brick it up. You got to beat it up and dig it up. I don't know. Keep me going, Ron, but you're not. Ron, you're not getting my zone, Ron. Go get your gun. Ron, give me two more minutes because he's not. He gets not. I got to keep shooting. Me and Brick was juicing the other day. We seen this girl. Get her ass pulverized. I called you wrong. You did. I don't know what happened. Frankie, Pat, KK, Rod, they was together all day, I heard. She started getting crazy with her mouth. And this, they came together and they bust her. They fucked her up. Mm -hmm. Am I lying, Brick? Right. I ain't no sense of that. No, but now me and Brick talk. We wanted to step up, but I'm not even, if they look like there was some gang shit. Now nah, I get shot and Ronald's crying. So me and Brick just looked and like, God, me and Brick want to say something. Yo, KK, they whoop. They be like a nigga. Excuse my French. Am I lying? Am I lying? Frank, she no, for a back now. She, and she woke up. They, Brick Star had to make her go on the ambulance. She, woke she was going to go to the ambulance. Right. No, no, okay, Pat. She was getting hit like a man. Yeah. Wow. Boom. That's so Boom. unfortunate, though, man. That was sad. Right. So my point is, I want, I'm being honest on camera. I was embarrassed not to step up, but I was thinking my Ron, my daughter, Gary gets shot for trying to be a hero. Me and Ron, and he said it. Any of y'all want to step up? Let's get it. I knew he had something, mm. so I had to eat that. So right. moving along is, as an OG, I try to stop the violence. So I'm going to keep going so Ron won't beat me up, because I know we got work. Nah, but, 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 yo, but, but, but I'm saying, but you just posed a very, very, very potent question in our community. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? In that situation, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you, I guess I wanted to so bad, Dre. Right, 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 right. I didn't want to get shot. I'm going to get a call, Gary dead. I guess the fact that Gary yeah, kept saying it, yo, I can't believe they beat this bitch up like this. So I got, Ron, I can never see. Wow. I, I, I don't like talking about ass. Fuck y'all. I'm an OG. Right. I've never seen a girl get beat up like that. She got beat up by two brothers. No. Three. Three guys beat up. And the girl she was wrong about, but she was so much in shock, the girl with them tried to break it up, and she flipped on her and bit a, a piece of meat out of her cheek, the girl. Wow. And they did they, 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 she beat her up. Wow. Bro, he picked her up and threw her on the hood. Like, bro, it was bad, bro. Mm -hmm. I swear, me and Brick, like, yo, Brick, I want... And I said, Brick, you know what? I kept saying, Ron, get a call, Gary got shot. They, and they said it, Brick. They, that's why I know they have to run. Right, 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 they right, said right. it. Any of y'all want to get in, let's get it. Right. They had their hammer on in the car, some way, somehow. Yeah, you know. It was, it was, it was sad. sad. It was like, sad. So, and, yeah, I'm sorry. And, and, no, no, but that, that's where I feel you did the, the very right thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I had to leave it alone. I got to go to 14. Right, right. I don't need packing the call. Frank, Gary dead. Right. But me, Brick, ain't that one. I was wrong. So, so all I'm saying is the OG, if y'all in the hood, and y'all can break something up, try your best. Because most of the time, where Ron from, where Frankie from, um, I know Brick from Brick from. I know if Ron sees something, he dumped, he put he put the right work in mentally and physically that Ron could tell the young kids. I do I just told the kid the other put your gun down. He put it down for it. Because right. I knew he was gonna go get it. Alright. Right, 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 right. 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 It was bad. But anyway, let me get move on. I get emotional shit like I'm tired of people dying for dumb shit. So, what's the craziest night that you had with Native Tongue that you're always together, that you can remember? Um, probably one of the nights in the building. Remember the club, the, the building? I don't know if you ever was up in there. The building uh, on 26th Street, Powerhouse. Oh, that in Manhattan? Yeah, Manhattan. Oh, you know yeah. Like, we used to be up in there heavy, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, the whole crew. And this at a time, too, when you know, other cats would be around us. Like, I remember us as a, a crew, like, going, leaving Calliope and going to the club all together. And, like, a young with, uh, with Sean Wayans as well as, like, this person might be meeting him, you know what I'm saying? And that's just hanging out in the club and, you know, 
Uh, we bumping into, you know, Nordy and treat leaders of the new school and, you know what I'm saying, all, all kinds of different cats that, you know, essentially were going on to make, you know, their own walks and this and the other. And, you know, but we all was together. We bumping in brand newbie and, you know what I'm saying, somebody might be performing amongst us, you know what I'm saying, at the spot, you know what I'm saying. And there's just all of us together after that, after the club, we all wind up as a mob going back to the studio. And just, you know, recording, I don't even know whose session it was that particular night, but, you know, like, that was just the, the, the kind of vibe that was just... It was just, just a great vibe for everybody, freestyling, talking that shit, doing making music. Everybody was just mad cool, his brothers, you know what I'm saying? And it, it was it was often that 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 we moved together. And it's funny, backpackers and faces, one of my friends is not a backpacker, but, you know, Curry's yours, me and yours, yo. Yeah. He's on the table right here. Oh, they funny. used to always have ciphers. Um, who just passed away? Pat Doom. Yeah. Doom used to be around as Curious yeah. George. Yeah. They used to get a circle and it just be rapid. Right. But again, no guns, no shooting, no nothing. Just vibing. Good guys. Yeah. Good guys. So it's funny you said that. So now, um, uh, damn, you said, have you ever seen a rap battle with the native tongue that was like, oh my God. Because yeah. y'all, 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 y'all just circles. Y'all didn't really do battle right back then, Brickstar. It wasn't battle. It was just a circle, and, and everybody a cipher. Everybody get their shit off, Pat. You're not bad, you just bother. Nah. That don't happen. No power rule used to do that. Doom, you remember power rule? The Spanish yeah. rapper power yeah. rule. Yeah. You remember power rule? Yeah. Yeah. Um, beat nuts, yeah. trying yeah. to get them my show too. Beat you remember beat nuts? Junior, Junior, they said. Yeah, those are my. Those that's my crew. That's, that's my peoples. Yeah. Oh, oh okay, great. No. That's um, my peoples. Okay, yeah, they're official. They make great beats of people. They made a lot of big punk beats. Yeah, that's my word. It, I. I, I personally, in Calliope, they was in Calliope in one of their first sessions. Whatever. They used to be in a lot of the native sessions. But, but they, they like little cousins to, to, if anything, they definitely native. You know what I'm saying? Just to say, like, like I remember um, it was either Drew or Orles in the session, and it's one of their very first sessions that they booked on their own at Calliope. And I'm in the room with What's Calliope? I tell the people that. Calliope was a studio that all, that all of the natives really kind of used, you know what I'm saying? Making all of the, rec- the records that were out in a particular. Where was that? As well, actually? Oh, it was on like a. Uh, was it on Thirty Seventh Street in Manhattan or in Kansas? Yeah, Manhattan. Oh, Manhattan. Yeah, excuse me. Okay, Manhattan. Okay. okay. And um, like Thirty Six. Um, just say um. Uh, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. Just say uh. You know, it was the studio that we all use, and just say um, like at that time, like, man, like, I remember when they had their, like their very first session. I'm trying to explain to them how to arrange music like this portion from this is your introduction from this oh, is yeah, your you know what I'm saying your hook is repeating and should you know be you know like I'm just trying to break break down the phonetics of 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 what a song is going to be for them you know what I'm saying just the structure you know what I'm saying and but they were dope I was man I'm in there and talking to them and I and I looked at the moment in my head and I'm like it was just so dope they're gonna be dope you know what I'm saying like you know like yeah, man, like from the from the door. That was like one of their first sessions. You know, okay, like, okay. Like, with them like that. So, um, um, of course, the moment of silent for Fife and Dig and Dig DMX, Black Rob, um, Mob Deep, um, Prodigy, Prodigy. and if I'm missing you, I'm sorry, Shop G, and I'm missing you, I'm sorry, um, Pimp C's, uh, Pimp C, Mark, Prince 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 Mark, and y'all freaky rest time. in freaky yeah. time. I love. I, I didn't meet. Oh, I met most of y'all. But I didn't meet you. I still love y'all. The game misses y'all. Without y'all, y'all wouldn't be here. Now, you have a DMX story, or you never met DMX? Um, I, I met X a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he was he was cool. Like the very very first time I met him it was actually, I was actually pulling. I was on like 125th in like Madison, mm-hmm. and I'm pulling. With, I used to mess with a little, little spot over here, and I see him. He's standing right in front of me. I had um. So I really was going to the spot over there, but but I wanted to say what's up. You know, I didn't, I didn't know him. But I he's big, right? He's big by that. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And so as I'm walking up on him, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, when he, I could see, he reckon, you know, I could see he recognized him. Because Andy's with a dog, holding his dog, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yo. I was like, I, I was like, I just really wanted to say what's up to you, man. You know, Zanny Yellow. He's like, yo, what's up? Is that the other? And right there, we just start chopping it up. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, but it was, he was standing right in front of the spot, so I went to the spot, and you know, even coming out, coming out, he was still there. You know, what I'm saying and it was just, you know, like genuine in his eyes that that he appreciated me 
wanting to, you know, wanted to say what's up. This fucking guy was saying monster rapper, man. Right, he, very cool, very, 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 very dope cat. That I would bump into him a few times over the years doing shows. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like my, my, you know. Old shows you love. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's a regular. Everybody's like a regular guy. Always. Like I try to live my life as a regular guy. It's not always that easy, but yo, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not really, because I'm very humble. <laughs> but people fuck with me, <laughs> then the beast come out of me, and then Gary's bucking out. You know that situation when you're just a nice guy, and then when you the beast come out of you, <laughs> what's wrong with Gary? Right. I mean, what's means he don't fuck with me 35 times. The 36th time, I'm gonna beat you up. Right. Let's move forward. Right. I get his, but I'm gonna live a lot of them. No, no, no. I can tell you, that's a light. Like, that's a lot of gives. There you go. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm 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 telling you. I'm telling you. I take a lot. Yeah. So. Then we have a producer who activates you. You just want to go. Shut up. Shut up. And then, um, and then when your merchandise guy brings one shirt with eight people who wants a shirt, <laughs> your mind starts to hurt. Yeah. All right, but now move forward. <laughs> I'm doing cheap shots right now. Yeah, I see. No, 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 we, we all love each other. We love each other. Um, <laughs> how you what you and Lauren doing now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what are y'all doing? I know you produced eighty five percent of the album, like you said. Thank right, God. Right. And what is he doing now? What's your relationship with him right now? Um, I, I I wish I heard his name more in the marketplace as far as producing for other people and stuff like that. Like we really don't rock together like that. But like. Um, Given an opportunity for us to do some to get some money, I always reach out to him. I just reached out to him the other day. I just recently spoke to him that there's an opportunity. My man uh, Ian, um, big shout out to Ian out in LA. I'm just saying uh, there's an opportunity to kind of revamp some of the publishing. You know what I'm saying? The way it's structured. You know what I'm saying? As far as the, those deals and change the percentage point if you're in a deal already. And so on. Um, okay. You know. You know Y'all ain't the best friends, not in a bad way. You're doing him, you're doing him, you're doing you. But I'm going to tell this too. I learned that from my crew because I get my bitterness. Money and everything, but if you can make a dollar for each other and make it happen, you can make it happen.